This is my NBA preview and predictions for 2024. This one should be a goodie. We got Boston Celtics versus Dallas Mavericks. And to be honest, I am so happy Dallas beat Minnesota because I was already looking at these matchups. And I believe that Boston Celtics would have had a harder time beating Minnesota than they will beating Dallas. And it's crazy to say that, but matchups really do matter. And in this one, it's going to be way different from Dallas playing Minnesota because they don't have a matchup with Boston Celtics where Luka could just rest on defense. That's what he was doing in Minnesota. Because Minnesota just run that, that high pick and roll action, and then they have people in the corners, but the people they have in the corners ain't even really good shooters like that. So you really ain't got to go out there on them. So they had Luka just basically sitting on defense. And then sometimes they'll get the switch, but the switch would be with Rudy Gobert. He not the best person to even have a switch with because he don't got offensive moves. In this matchup, when they start switching Luka Donish and whoever he's guarding to start off with, he going to have to play defense the whole time. Luka is already hurt. You can see it when he be moving up the court. And when I watch him, I just believe his body going to really start breaking down in this series because he going to really have to play defense no matter who he's guarding. The people that people are sleeping on, on Boston, is Dirk White and Drew Holiday. Them boys are something serious. They something serious. So you got Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, they up here. But Drew Holiday and Dirk White, they like right under them. It ain't that big of a drop off, as people think. Because I've been really watching and paying attention to them. They can ball on offense, and they can ball on defense. They're not a liability. So it won't be no liabilities to hide Luka on defense, so he's going to have to work. Because when they get to switching this, whether he's on Porzingis or he's on Al Horford, Al Horford and Porzingis actually can go to work, both of them. And if he get Al, if Al Horford get Luka switch in the post, He's going to score on Luka every time because Al Horford ain't Rudy Gobert. He know how to score in the post, especially with a little body on him. So Luka's going to have to work. Another thing, Kyrie. Kyrie going to still get off, but I think Kyrie going to have a couple of games, which he normally has a couple of games each series where he kind of don't go off like he's supposed to. I think he going to have a couple of those type of games too. Because you got Drew Holiday, strong, big guard, going to be on him. Derek White, bigger than him, going to be on him. These guys are pretty tall for their position. I think everybody on Boston Celtics is like 6'4 and above, that whole lineup. Kyrie will be the smallest person on the court, you know. So he's going to have to work on defense too. I just really like this matchup in a whole. You know, Boston is the deepest team in the league, and from their number one person, Jason Tatum, to their fifth person, sixth person, it ain't as big as drop-off as people think. And best believe, all of them are hungry for a championship. Al Horford, he's like one of the oldest, he definitely the oldest guy in the playoffs left. He definitely won the championship. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, you know, Derek White, these dudes that been there and they done went to the championship and things didn't work out and they lost in the championship game, they all want rings. They're going to be hungry. They're going to be well-rested. They're not going to have no injury problems going into the series besides Christoph Porzingis. And to be honest, they were talking about him coming back game three in the Indiana series. But I guess the coaches and, you know, the people behind the scenes, they must have seen, we don't need Christopher Zingas for them. We just could beat them. So they didn't even bring him back, but he was supposed to come back game three. At first they were saying game two, then they pushed it to game three after they seen game one, and then he just didn't come back. So, yeah, he's going to be a little bit more ready than people think, and even if he's not. The Boston Celtics are strong, man. The only thing that I'm worried about 
with Boston, they go through droughts because they shoot the three a lot, which is good when they play in Dallas. Dallas struggle against the three-point shot. Minnesota don't have a three-point shot, right? So that's why it, they beat Minnesota. And remember, three out of them four games that they beat Minnesota in were very close. So they were still having close games with Minnesota, even though Minnesota ain't got no shooting. With Boston, they probably um, have a game or two where they go cold with the shooting, and Dallas probably win that. But I think Boston definitely in six. Definitely. Because, you know, it'll just be too much. They better not be in close situations with Dallas, though. Don't let Dallas be too close down the end. Because Boston could have troubles. That's why I see it going six games. Because down the stretch, Kyrie and Luka, they, they know how to close the game out. In Boston, sometimes they get a little shaky down the stretch. Sometimes they go through cold periods. So them the two things that I'm worried about with Boston. But I'm going with Boston. And I'm happy that Dallas won because I want Jason Tatum to get a ring. He's from St. Louis. That's my home city. I want him to get a ring. And, you know, I think it would have been difficult for him to get that with Minnesota. But, of course, matchups, you know, they really matter. So, this one going to really matter. I'm going for Boston. Y'all let me know. Who do you think going to win the NBA championship in 2024? All right? Is it going to be Dallas or is it going to be Boston? All right? Y'all let me know. As always, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the other content. Click that like button. Y'all be easy. Be safe.